my third time filming this. <laughs> Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. <sighs> hey. Oh, you're wanting to get up here? There's not room. There's literally not room. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, totally. Yeah, no, just like take my spot. Yeah, no, that's fine. This video has been a difficult video for me and you may be like, Bestie, how? And I'll tell you, it is because this is literally like my third time filming this video because the first time I spent the whole entire day, we went book shopping, which you guys will see that part because I did salvage that part because I just didn't use the audio in those. But the audio was corrupted because of the microphone that I spent good money on was making this like really weird odd sound that was literally all throughout the video i put it through audio compressors i tried to fix it and the audio was just straight up not working so both the videos i filmed yesterday gone so i had to refilm them and then the lighting was so bad last night and i just tried to edit it this morning it's just been a mess we had to scrap those and we are filming this hopefully one more time actually we're just getting what we get with this one and we're not throwing a fit so with that being said today i wanted to do what i kind of call like a bookie video one the name bookie really cute it's not a reading vlog but i'm just kind of doing like bookish things so i went book shopping i'm gonna give you guys a whole of what i got yesterday and then like a collective book haul because <sighs> In addition to those videos being messed up, I have not been in a good place mentally, so that translates to me buying books. It's not a healthy coping mechanism, but it's also not the most unhealthy coping mechanism, so I pride myself on that. I'm going to take you guys with me to bookshop. We're going to act like we're bookshopping now and didn't bookshop yesterday. So buckle up, get ready to bookshop, but before that, I do want to say a quick thank you to the sponsor of today's video, which is Water Drop, which is the water and the water bottle that I'm drinking out of today. So guys, I came down here really quick to grab my water and I wanna tell you guys a little bit more about Water Drop. If you're somebody that struggles a little bit with getting your daily water intake in because you struggle with the flavor of water or maybe like the lack thereof, we should say, then Water Drop is definitely for you. Basically what they do is they have their own little flavors. They have so many different flavors on their website to choose from. Today I'm actually using their Flare flavor. This is part of their micro drink and basically what their micro drink line is, is it's you just drop the capsule on there and it flavors your water basically it just adds a little bit of something into your water that way when you're trying to drink it there's a little bit of something there you know what i'm saying literally they have so many different flavors to choose from and what i like about their micro drink flavors is that it's zero sugar you're not adding in any additives that are unhealthy for you all you're doing is adding a little bit of flavor to your water i also drink their micro light ones after i work out because they have electrolytes and they have vitamin they also have energy ones they have their flavored ones they have stuff for after your workout they have stuff for your tea i mean they literally have so many different options another good part about this is that they have super cute and aesthetic drinkware for example this bottle right here it's giving that girl aesthetic it's giving clean girl vibe and it's very convenient to have on the go it's very easy to just fill this up drop the capsule in there and take it on the go and it'll be dissolved literally by the time that you get to the car if you guys want to check out water drop you guys can go to waterdrop.com or check out the link down in my description and you guys can use the code destiny in all caps to get 15% off your order in the U.S. and you guys need to use the same code DESTINY in all caps to get 10% off in the EU. Thank you guys so much to Water Drop for sponsoring today's video. Let's get into it. from the clips the first place that i went to was ha 
half price books and they actually give me a free reusable bag i go to half price books like very sparingly and i usually have like a series in mind or like specific books in mind that i know half price books would have where it's like doesn't make very much sense to go buy them for like 14 15 plus at Barnes & Noble when I can buy them used at Half Price Books. You know what I'm saying? First of all, I got these three books. Yes, before any of you guys even think it in your brain, I am making a video on this. I did forget the other book, but I am going to have to buy the other book. That is the Hunger Games trilogy. I have been wanting to do a reading vlog of me rereading these for a long time and I know that the Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes, I don't know when that movie's coming out but like everyone's been talking about it and so I really want to do like a reading vlog where I reread the Hunger Games trilogy and then read the Battle of the Songbirds and Snakes whatever <laughs> because I have not read these since elementary school. I used to own these but then you know um my parents gave the books away. Um, I have not read these since elementary school. Do you guys see the little S on these? That means Scholastic. That's like the, I don't know if you would call that the publisher, but you guys know the Scholastic book fairs that used to come to the schools. That's literally, I remember buying these at that and absolutely loving them. Like I was obsessed with the Hunger Games. I was never like a fantasy kid. Like I never read Percy Jackson. I've never read Harry Potter and I was just never into it. If I was reading any books like that, it was dystopian books. Like I love loved Divergent and I loved The Hunger Game. I've always been Team PETA. I literally never a day in my life would you catch me being Team Gale. I haven't read them in so long but I am obsessed with the movies. I think it was last month I went through like a really heavy Hunger Games obsession. I rewatched the movies and then it was all over my TikTok Hunger Games edits. But yeah I wanted to make a reading vlog with these three so I really got them at half price books. I think they were six bucks each. Each. They were six bucks each. And they're in great condition and they're actually so much shorter than I remember them being. Like I don't know why I remember these books being like so thick and long. And they're not, and they're small, and they're cute. <laughs> and then I also picked up Riders and Lovers by Lily King. Now, some of you may think that this is random, or you may not. I don't know why I just assume that you guys think that this is random. I read this book back in 2021, and literally whenever I see it in Barnes & Noble or see it anywhere, I'm always like, hmm, I should pick that up because, like, I, I mean, I don't, I like think about it from time to time and I remember enjoying the book and I feel like, you know, I should have a copy of it and then I saw it at Half Price Books literally for 10 bucks. What a steal, what a deal, right? Those of you who may ask the question, Destiny, why do you buy books that like you didn't absolutely love and you want the physical copies of them? Because if I don't have the physical copies of them, I forget that I ever read them and then like when I see them, I'll be like, oh, I did read that book. I just want, I, I love collecting books. I want to remember, and, and I, just because I can. That too. The final three books that I got from Half Price Books. I will over explain all of these to you. I have been really wanting to reread the Summer I Turned Pretty trilogy, specifically the first book, because the nostalgia that that first book has is unmatched. It just makes me think of like my childhood summers and like really takes me back. And I love that series so so much and just like the young adult series like that just they hit different and I was like I really want a book this spring slash summer to like feel like that so of course I picked up Jenny Han's other super popular series which is to all the boys I loved before yes I picked up all three of them believe it or not I have never read these books <gasps> I know so controversial these movies came out when I was in high school I think I was like a freshman or a sophomore or I think I was going into my sophomore year when the first movie came out because that information was so important to you I know but back in high school I was not I was out of my phase of like going to the bookstore and browsing books like I didn't do that very often I was heavily in my Wattpad phase and I didn't know anything about these books I didn't know that they were popular and when the movie came out I just kind of thought it was a movie but then everyone was talking about the books and I've never read them and I've watched the movies and I know that goes against everything that I stand for because I am literally such a stickler on if I know that a movie or a TV show is a book, I have to read the book first before I'll even watch. I did break that rule, but in my defense, I didn't know that they were books at the time. So I really want to reread them and see what I think about them. And I just feel like the books are always better than the movies, even though I do love the movies of this. I feel like they are my comfort rom-com. If I want to put on a cute little romantic comedy, I always put on these because they're just so cute and they're fun. And yes, they're cheesy, but I love them. And also these were literally five bucks. So, do you guys remember that though? Like when those movies came out, everybody was obsessed with No Centineo. Of course.
course I wanted to stop by Barnes and Noble because the half price books and the Barnes and Noble are literally right by each other. So I was like, of course I'm going to stop by Barnes. In the car on the way, I'm looking through Instagram and I see people posting about Happy Place by Emily Henry. And I'm like, wow, how did people get that like two days early? Because I, for some reason, thought release day was April 27th that I was so incredibly confused. And then I realized, oh no, it was just that when I went to like pre-order the book, it said it wouldn't be at my house until the 27th. Therefore, I was like, oh my gosh, wait, Happy Place came out today. And keep in mind, I told myself, I'm not buying the physical copy. I'm just going to buy it on Kindle and wait for the paperback to come out. Because literally, every single one of Emily Henry's books always come out in paperback. Okay, this is, I feel like this is a highly talked about thing right now around like the book community is why is it hardcover? And so I was like, I just, I just want to see the book. I just want to see it with my own eyes. Well, now I can always see it with my own eyes. Have no self-control and I'm in a mentally unstable place right now. So of course I went and bought it because there is just, there's nothing like reading a physical book, especially from an author that you absolutely love. So literally don't blame me. And I will be buying the paperback because it has to match my little Emily Henry. Oh, you can't even see it. But I have all of Emily Henry's books that are all three paperback might I add. But this cover is magnificent. I love them. Whenever I do like unpopular opinion videos, people are always like, people only like Emily Henry's books because of the covers. Are the covers absolutely amazing? Yes, but I love the inside of it too. I love the words that are on the paper of this book. Her banter is unmatched. I literally love it so much. Also, I did get a book light in the checkout aisle and hopefully this is going to be worth it because this was $32 because I had a book light, but it was like off Amazon I think it was like five to six bucks and then it got so dim I used it one night right I used it one night I stayed up and I was reading a book and I was using it and then it literally went out that night and it wasn't a rechargeable one and it was super dim so hopefully this is gonna be worth the money and it's rechargeable okay and now kind of like a common theme with the rest of the books that we're gonna haul is that I am trying to build, not that I need to, but I'm trying to build my like spring summer TBR. The other day Sarah posted her spring summer like book recommendations and TBR and I've been thinking about it. I don't know when the appropriate time is. Guys, let me know when you want. I'm gonna do two separate videos. I'm gonna do summer book recs and then my summer TBR. But anyway, I've been building my summer TBR. I'm excited for reading in the summer. So that's kind of like a common theme that you're gonna see with the rest of these books. First of all, I have Never Vacation with Your Ex. And these, a lot of them are gonna be young adult as well because there's nothing like a young adult book in the summertime. They're super easy, they're fast reads, they're so cute, and I feel like that's perfect perfect poolside or beach read. You're going to see a lot of this. This one is a young adult and what I, I was reading the synopsis and it's basically like these two people, their family goes to Malibu on vacation with each other every single year, but they just broke up. They dated for a few months. They broke up and basically they go on vacation together and she's teaching him how to get over your ex even though she's the ex. I mean, I guess you can see like what starts happening. I don't know. I haven't read the book yet. I was like on the fence and I bought it because this is by Emily Wibberly and Austin Sigmund Broca. These are the same authors of The Roughest Draft and Do I Know You, which both of those books are on my TBR for this month. Have I read those books? No. Will I read them? I don't know about this month. From the books that I have seen, and those two books are adult books, right? And from the books that I've literally like read their synopsises, I find this theme that they write about like two people whose relationship is kind of in turmoil however that may be seen fit i don't really know if that was proper english they even did it in their young adult book so i'm very i want to read those adult books and i want to read the young adult book and see how they translate but i didn't know that they wrote young adult okay and then also i did get the upside of falling i got the physical copy this is actually a wattpad book which i did not know but that is i think it's always so fun when i literally just like pick up a book and i figure out that it's a wattpad book like it it just takes me back because I'm like really that could have been me <laughs> that could have been me if I would have kept writing I read this book last year on the plane and I like whenever I do look back on this book I look back on it with a smile it's a cute YA and I just want the physical copy of it again because if I recommend it if I talk about it I want to be able to hold it up so I got it keeping upon the same theme I actually got love and olives this is a can you even see the cover this is the cover <laughs> love and olives so this is like the same author and it's called and, and people are calling it a series of the love and gelato because they have love and gelato love and olives and love and luck and last year i read love and gelato over the summer and i really loved it it was like one of my favorite 
like summer reads that I had read last year because it was so atmospheric. It's not even about like the couple. It took place in Italy and it was just so like descriptive and immersive and I just really liked it for that form of like escapism. This one takes place in Santorini and Santorini is one of my dream destinations. Like I love, love, love Santorini. I want to go so bad. And so I thought that this one would be good. It's a series, but I, you don't have to read them in order or you don't have to, you know, whatever. Basically all it is is that she's just kind of like writing like the same thing it doesn't follow the same character it doesn't follow their friend group or anything you just read them however you want and the last book that i got from barnes was one italian summer because literally for the past two months i think i have looked at this book every single time that i go to barnes and noble and i don't pick it up and since i am building my summer tbr i did pick it up because this is just such a short book it's an adult book but i just feel like it will be very easy very short very atmospheric this one takes place in italy okay so those are the books that i bought yesterday now to give you guys a little bit of a collective haul of books that I've been buying recently. Yeah! <laughs> this is so random because it's literally the third book of the Boys of Tommen series, but the other three books are actually coming today in the special editions. I bought uh, all four of the like special edition Boys of Tommen series books because uh, it's literally like one of my eight star reads. Like I love that series so entirely much. So of course, because here's the thing i've been feeling bad mentally recently and when i do that i notice that i go back to like comfort shows comfort movies comfort youtubers and also comfort books and obviously this is a comfort series for me and i have really been wanting to reread this series even though i've already reread this series this year i've just really been wanting to reread them and then i bought the special editions and i was like maybe i should reread them and fully tab and annotate so you may see that also spring summer tbr we have these i bought three books from megan quinn and she is the author of the a not so meet cute and i just found these on amazon and i love the covers and then i read the synopsis and they were very spring summer vibes so first of all we have the reunion and this is about a married couple they've been together well it's not about a married couple so a married couple has been together for 50 years and they have three kids and i think it's like they pride themselves on like teaching their kids about love but all the kids are single right so the three kids are trying to throw their parents a 50th anniversary party and i think it's just basically you're following the three kids and how they're finding love while throwing their parents the 50th anniversary party i don't know but this screams like spring vibes to me vacation wars and literally i love this cover it's giving postcard takes place in santorini literally so excited and i think it's like two sisters go to santorini yeah their family's favorite vacation spot well how much money does your family make for that to be their favorite vacation spot her and her sister go there before her sister's wedding and her and her sister starts like pranking her and she meets her child she sees her childhood crush there like i don't know i feel like it'll be just like fun cute vibes and then i also got runaway groomsmen i think this one's about like He's a runaway groomsman because his best friend marries his ex-girlfriend and he runs away from the wedding and then he ends up in a small town in California and meets a woman who like runs her family business. I feel like this is perfect for spring summer because it takes place in California but it's giving small town. Ooh, I also do want to show you guys some books that I've got sent recently. So first of all, we have The Birthday List by Debbie Perry. She sent me this for my birthday. Literally, she is absolutely so sweet and so cute. And I'm so excited to read this because I've heard absolutely amazing things about it. Ooh, and I've got a few books sent to me from Forever Publishing. So I got Dark Succession by Katie Robert. I think this is like a dark romance, dark, dangerous, and seething with scandal. Millionaires, billionaires, whatever. And I think it's like arranged marriage. All right. Yeah, arranged marriage, secrets, scandals, very excited. And I know Katie Robert is like a very highly, highly regarded author. Oh, and they also sent me a copy of Yours Truly. So thank you Forever Publishing, if you guys are watching this. First of all, I did fall into the TikTok hype. And it's funny because the other day I was like, you know, wink, wink, think about this, what you will. I asked you guys the other day on my bookstagram, what books are very hyped up on BookTok right now? And you guys, literally, I think the most responses that I got were for this book, The Serpent and the Wings of Night, which I've already read both of these books. You guys will hear about this in my April wrap up. I bought these because Sarah was reading this one when I was in Jersey and I heard people compare it to Akatar. It's not like Akatar, by the way, um, which 
I'll get more into that in my April wrap up. So stay tuned for that if you want. But I bought these because I just really wanted to read them. And then I bought this one, which is Daughter of No Worlds. And I bought this because Sarah was really talking about this. She was really telling me how much she loved it. And she loved the couple in this book. And then I realized that like this is the same author. The author that wrote this trilogy wrote this duology. And she's getting really hyped up on Book Talk right now. So I'm very excited to read this one. May or may not be reading this in May. May or not be reading it for a video. So stay tuned. Okay, and then the final book. I told you guys. <laughs> the thing about like the comfort shows, books, whatever. I, when I was traveling this month, at the beginning of the month I traveled a lot. And literally when I was coming home on the final plane, I was like, there is nothing more that I want to do. Because I've also been in a book slump, by the way. Like, really bad book slump, which I can also talk about in my wrap-up. All I want to do is read the Akatar series. I just want to fully annotate it. I want to do a reading vlog of me rereading and just do a full, spoiler, comprehensive, in-depth talk about the Akatar series. Because so many people are like, can you just do a dedicated video, like, talking about it? And I feel like that's the best way for me to do it, is to reread them and just, like, talk about them and annotate them. And I really wanted to do it. But the thing is, is that those copies up there, like the paperbacks not writing in the OG covers, no. In the paperbacks, I like lightly annotated those books and I also have page inserts with like artwork and stuff on them. So I can't really like go back and annotate through those. So I bought all the hardcover, I bought the box set of the hardcovers because the Akatar series is one of my favorite things and it's the same thing with the Boys of Tom and series with me buying the special editions. I just want to own different copies of the books and I want to use these books to like go through and fully annotate those and like do the full comprehensive tab annotate and all of that so that's why I bought them so you can look forward to a reading vlog of definitely these four books. I am undecided on A Court of Silver Flames. Maybe not this one because this one follows Feyre and this one doesn't so maybe just these four. Yeah those are literally all of the books that I have to haul for you guys today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Literally, please tell me that you did because this is my third time filming it and yesterday was a bad day. But on a serious note, thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate you guys so much for really tuning into any video for your comments, your likes, your kind words. Literally all of it means so entirely much to me. I've been feeling very sentimental recently. Um, so I just wanted to let you guys know that I appreciate you guys so, 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 so incredibly much. And I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, all that YouTube stuff that you guys know how to do. And I will see you guys when I see ya. Peace.